Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Thakur here. I am a senior performance engineer at Salesforce. And me, myself, and Scott Glazer, who is senior manager at Salesforce, will be presenting this session. Introduction to performance profiling of Visual Force Pages and Lightning. Let's get started. So this is the forward-looking statement. Uh, just you can go through it quickly and. It says that uh, don't use this content for your investing in Salesforce. <laughs> so this is the agenda today. Uh, I'll keep it very simple so since this is just an introduction to performance profiling. Uh, the agenda is uh, introduction, what it means. <clears throat> then we'll go over performance profiling of Visual Force apps and then we'll go over the performance profiling of Lightning apps, and then we'll address any questions you have. <clears throat> now, questions for you. How many of you conduct performance profiling engineering? All right, thank you. And have you faced challenges? How many of you face challenges? All right, thank you. Yeah, so performance profiling is a thing. It's a broad subject, and we, it's, there are a lot of challenges in performance profiling, depending on what you're profiling, how the application is built, what is the front end, what's the back end, things like that. So <clears throat> some of the basic challenges which we face are like there, are like, there are complex and expensive instrumentation is involved in performance profiling. Then there are security privileges. Then also there's a performance overhead introduced when you have some performance profiling itself. And there are some non-tuned applications, like if the application is really bad and you introduce performance profiling on that, the application will totally crash, so you'll not have any data. And there are other issues like during profiling is operating system specific issues, hardware costs, setup time, application caching, things like that. So there are like a bunch of things or challenges which, can, which we can say during performance profiling. So let's get started with our topic one, which is performance profiling of Visual Force applications. Here, we use Developer Console. This Developer Console is a very good utility that is developed by Salesforce. To it, enable, it has a lot of uh, other utilities, other applications also. One of them is performance profiling. So I'll go over the basic steps of how to profile a Visual Force space using Developer Console. There are two basic steps. First one is you have to enable your Visual Force page debug logs in the Developer Console. And the second step is using the Developer Console to profile the actual logs. <clears throat> now let's go in deeper into step one. So how do you enable Visual Force uh, page debug logs in Developer Console. It's very simple. The only two things you need is you will need an administrator user and a test user with which you are working. So use your administrator user and log in and set up the debug logs for the test user. Then set up the debug log filters. So filters by mean I have presented here a set of filters that are like really helpful. There are like a huge list of filters you can work on, like database, workflow, validation, and visual force system, things like that. You can set them to finest, info, debug, whatever you want to, depending on what you are profiling, how deep you want to dig into the issue. <clears throat> now, once this is set up for a particular user, then you have to just log into the user and access the visual, page, visual force page which you want to profile. Now, that is step one. Now, once that is done, the logs are captured in the system. And the next step you need to do is open up your developer console and access the log. As soon as you open up your developer console, the logs are available in the bottom. And the whole information comes up. I have presented a screenshot here, so how the screen looks like. So this is the basic look of a developer console uh, <coughs> utility. Now. I'll go over one example, this example, what it 
looks like. Now, first one is, uh, this is an example one. You have, the easiest way for profiling is first, open up the timeline chart. So that's in the bottom here. So this is the timeline tab. Go to the timeline tab, which is the most easiest way to first identify what the issue is. Here, it is, there's a breakdown for what is the time it takes for the whole page to load, and it gives a breakout. Like what's the time for the Apex code, what's the time for the workflow, and things like the debt DB, visual force system, things like that. Now in this example which I'm presenting, you can clearly see that the database is taking 99% of the time. And it is taking 99 seconds. This is not the case most of the time, but this is just for an example. <coughs> now that you have identified that the database is taking most of the time, now we can dig deeper what's happening in the database. I will get back to that in the next slide. I am presenting here another example. If you go see at the bottom uh, screenshot here. So here in this example, you see the Apex code is taking more amount of 88% of the time, whereas the database is taking only less than a percent. But in the Apex code here, there are like it, a bit of code is getting executed repeatedly. If you see those vertical green lines, thin green lines, each line ex indicates an Apex code getting executed. So here you can see that there are many thin lines that are getting executed repeatedly, which is not an e efficient code. That's what it means. So we have to take a look at that. So this is an example two. Now let's be get back to example one, wherein we saw that the database is taking 99% of the time. Now here, once you identify it, go to the performance tree in the stack tree. So there's a stack tree tab, and then you can go to the performance tree tab. So once you are there, you can start drilling down on until you find out where exactly the issue is occurring. And once you drill down to the bottom, then you will find out that if you open the execution stack, that's another panel that comes up. There it shows that the SQL is actually taking 92 seconds. And once you go to that SQL, now there is another panel you can open. These are all the panels that open side by side, so you don't have to look out like which panel to open. And once you open the execution log panel, you can filter there by a statement called SQL execute, or else if you don't know what to filter, just you can put the unit there and it will filter it out by itself. Here we are only, we know that there's a database issue, so that's why we are looking for a SQL statement that got executed, which was taking more time. So as, as, as you can see in the screenshot there, uh, if you ex filter that SQL execute, you will get the exact SQL statement that was causing this issue. So this is how you identify uh, the performance issue in Visual Force page. I mean, there are a lot of other issues that happen, but this is just a simple example which I showed you. Now going to the performance profiling of Lightning apps. So Salesforce Lightning Inspector, actually, it improves your Lightning component development and gives you a lot of ways to improve your applications running components performance and also monitoring those components. So these are some of the advantages of Lightning and the Salesforce Lightning Inspector, what you can get. So you can easily inspect and navigate the structure of your components. You can identify performance bottlenecks. You can debug server interactions and navigate the component trees and also track event firing and handling sequences. So this Salesforce inspector, I have presented the uh, where you can download from this is a URL. You can also uh, post a message in your chatter group if you want the URL. I can reply back. So once you download this uh, Salesforce Lightning Inspector, right, it's the same thing. Like if you go to a Chrome developer tool, it comes up as a new Lightning tab on Chrome developer tool. So it's as easy as that. And once you get that Lightning tool, Lightning tab, so here, uh, once you navigate there, and you can see all the components that are getting executed as part of that Lightning page. So 
So I'll go over mainly two tabs that come up in that lightning tab, uh, two sub tabs. One is the performance tab and the next one is the transactions tab, which are helpful for performance profiling. So if you go over the performance tab, you will see that it actually uh, identifies all the components that are getting called, what are their duration, and how many times each of those component, lightning components are getting executed. So you can easily see here what's happening from the performance tab for each of the component. And you can identify where the slowness has occurred. Similarly, if you go to the transaction tab, we can see the recorded states during positions of the application execution. The data actually includes how many times the XXRs are called, what actions were called, how long the duration, what's the duration for each XXR, and also it says at what point of time those XXRs were executed. So these two things, like performance tab and the Lightning in the Lightning and the transaction tab really help to identify which of the components are actually causing the issue or which are taking more time. So this is, we, this is how we do uh, performance profiling for Lightning apps. All right, that's the whole presentation today. Any questions? Show a demo? No, I have not prepared a demo today, but uh, I can, if you have any other question, I can answer, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, thank you.